Anyway, Bev, so how's it all going? Um, it's all going very well. The um, sea at the minute is very, very calm. There's fog and fog patches. There is very little wind, but we've got the sails up to pick up what wind we can get. We've got the motor running because otherwise we probably wouldn't be moving at all. And um, just doing the lookout every so often, and we have nothing to worry about apart from a large boat over there and a huge rock dead ahead of us. But I don't think we're going to hit the rocks, so I'm not too worried about it. We've just got to the place um, where we turned back to Troon and um, you know it's just so different today we're not doing anything the iron sail is working um, we do have the main sail up but it's not doing an awful lot it's trying its best but you know it's just benign banal and pretty boring really but, you know, when we uh, turned back, it was anything but. It was like, oh my goodness. I must to say, though, we are getting a lot better <laughs> reefing while heave to. <laughs> We've got a video on that if you need to know how to do it. But uh, it has to be said, it's saved our bacon more than once now. Yeah, well, we're getting good at it because we've done it a lot. I know. <laughs> but no, I just wish we were sailing, but... It's pretty dull, I'm afraid to say. Very boring out here. Maybe the wind will come up. Maybe. Your hair's starting to um, move, so I'm, I'm, I'm of hope. Glad to see it has a use. I am very relaxed. I'm having a cup of tea and enjoying it. Um, we've made very good progress. We're very pleased. We're slightly ahead of our plan because due to the boat having a dirty bottom, uh, we made the plan for passage at 4.3 knots and we've been consistently above that. We've been at up as high as 5.2. Um, so we're ahead of schedule. We think we can make it down the North Channel on the next low tide. So. We're keeping our fingers crossed. We've got a couple of um, reserve plans. Uh, we're making up our ports of refuge as we go along. There's Larne, there's Belfast Lock, there's Port Patrick, there's Port Logan, and maybe Cairn Gan at the back of the mull. We're certainly so, not going into uh, Strangford Lock, though, are we? Uh, not into... No, you're quite right. We're not going into Strangford Lock, but we're also not going into Lock Ryan. Sorry. <laughs> which I think is what you meant. Yeah, we're not going into Lock Ryan, are we, Ben? Not a chance. Um, so it was very good coming past um, the Ilse Craig and what I thought was like a big face of granite turned out to be a giant seabird colony. I've never seen so many gannets, but I think I've finally figured out where all the gannets in this part of the world live. They live on that rock. There must have been thousands of them up there and it's certainly not a very good place to be a fish, not with that many gannets about. So the plan at the minute is down the North Channel if this weather holds. Um, we're hoping to get a little bit of wind and another knot to our speed. We're hoping to catch the tide, add another knot to our speed, and if we can do six knots all the way down the North Channel, we're going to do it. Beverly's just made me um, some tea and toast, so I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, we've just come into uh, Port Patrick, um, and um, I'd ha we had in our mind how to tie up about to a harbour wall and everything. Well, we came in, and it is just boat city here. So we've rafted up, 
uh, we're actually the third boat out in the raft um, so um, there's we were going to go out early in the morning but we've got no choice now because we're the third boat out we've got to go because it's just amazing just the number of boats that are here in uh, this little wee harbour um, but yeah um, it was a ferry glide in so I'm really glad I did all that practice. At, you, you uh, left out one very important detail. What was, oh! It was a ferry glide in. Oh, and, it's 11 o'clock at night! In pitch, <laughs> in pitch blackness and you couldn't see the uh, entrance. Yes. Um, and as you know, we still don't have a depth sounder. <laughs> which is like, ah! Oh. So um, we were making sure that we, we were in at the right tide of the time of the tide. Uh, so we had to worry about that because I didn't want to be in too early. Um, I had to make sure I was on the leading line. So I was ferry gliding like mad for that. But at the end of the day, having done the ferry gliding at Port Ferry, you know, I knew what I was doing. Still need a bit of hand holding, but I'm getting there. Well, we're rafted up at the moment, um, as you can see here, um, and Beverly has got an incredibly small turning circle to get out of. Um, we did consider um, winding the boat, which is one of the things that we have at least trained to do, uh, but Beverly reckons that she can... Uh, turn our salty lass in that small area so good for her but what we're going to do is slip these lines and then we'll just be on that line there and then that'll be us Beverly's sneaking around because it's pretty early here. I forgot to do the other one as well. making passage down the Irish Sea. When you're making passage you use everything that you have got to your disposal. So we have got the sails up and we are using that as much as we can. We have got the engine going so we're using that as much as we can. Um, we're basically just making the passage. This morning we used the tide. And we've used the tide so we are using everything that is available just to make passage um, but we're now somewhere in the middle of the Irish Sea because I cannot actually see any land at all but that's only because of the sea fog normally you would see some land here but just because of the sea fog you can't but the most important thing that's arrived Oh yes, my bacon bit. <laughs> it doesn't look great, but it tastes divine. Bacon pitta. Bacon pitta. Look absolutely fantastic. That's what I need.
yeah, just to keep you uh, You've definitely gone red, Bev. Okay, well, anyway, um, we're in Port St. Mary in the Isle of Man, and before anybody jumps up and down, we're not breaking quarantine rules running. We have permission to be here. We have contacted Douglas um, Operations, um, spoken to people there, and they have given us specific permission to moor in this specific place at this particular time. Um, but we have to leave here within a few hours. So we're just having a rest break and then it's off to the rest of our journey. So we came through Calf Sound and I'm feeling rather pleased with myself. We actually managed to make a very, very narrow window to get through Calf Sound from Port Patrick in Scotland. And we actually made it on time. We used tides to get here. We used the engine to motor sail. We used the wind to pick up speed. We used everything. I mean, we worked out the speed we needed and we did everything in our power to make sure we made that speed. And it actually worked. <laughs> so we're feeling very chuffed, even if we do look like red berries because we didn't put any sunblock on. But you know what? It'll give me a healthy sort of seal, buttery, tan kind of thing. Get the summer off to a good start. So we're going to have some dinner and then we're going to have a little bit of kip. And then it's off for the 90 or 100 mile haul, whatever it is, over to Liverpool. And that's a 15 hour passage. So it's going to be a big one.